Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Guns, and today we're going to be looking at the RF-15 from Radical Firearms. Let's get this. Stay tuned. So, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, we're going to be looking at this bad boy right here. The RF-15 from Radical Firearms. So what makes this AR so special and different from the others? Well, this was picked up for about 650 bucks. So under a thousand dollars, which is already a good start, uh, very budget, very cheap and affordable. But not only that, it is the best performer, in my opinion, out of all the other budget ARs out of Diamondback, out of M&P from Smith & Wesson and some others, this is the best performing. I ran this thing a couple times and it just, it never gives me any problems and it just runs flawlessly. Another good thing about this model is that it's chambered in 5.56, but it's also compatible with 223. So you can shoot both calibers out of this rifle, which is very nice. I know a lot of you know what ARs are, have heard of them before, so I'm not gonna make this a super long review, but we'll go ahead and do the old Grand Thumb Special going from tip to butt. So up here we have the flash hider that comes on there um, from the factory, and it works well, uh, pretty nice. It definitely adds to the whole style of the gun, which is another positive. So then on the sides, it also has um, M-lock and also on the bottom, so if you wanna attach other Pictini rails or M-lock attachments, you can go ahead and do that. As we can see here, since we're on the handguard, I have a angled foregrip from Magpul, which I love this. I love this style of grip, and I would definitely recommend it for any new shooters. If you're buying an AR, this is definitely a good foregrip for that. And then we also have these Magpul plastic um, rail covers right here, which um, help me get a good grip on it. Whenever I'm aiming, feels nice and pretty cheap, and you get six of them in one box that's pretty nice so you, you can go ahead and add them the whole way if you want i just have them right here where my hand is going to be for the most part so then going back we have the upper receiver right here with the top picatinny rail up here so if you want to mount scopes optics whatever you can so going down from that picatinny rail we have our bolt release right here so say you're shooting a mag you finish the bolt um the bolt sticks back go ahead load up a fresh mag you want to just Give that a nice tap right there. Right here, I guess we'll mention, right above the magwell is the Radical Firearms logo, which looks pretty nice, pretty cool on there. Then going to the other side, we'll go ahead right here. Is our bolt carrier group right there. Uh, pretty nice, pretty smooth. I did clean this out the other day, so works pretty well. Then we have our dust cover right there. Back here is our shell deflector. I will say that there are also attachments you can uh, get that will go over your ejection port and catch your brass. So if you wanna get into reloading, that's definitely something to look into because with ammo prices today, that's definitely a smart idea. We have our mag release, which works pretty well. It's not super stiff, it's not super loose. So while we're on the topic of that mag release, go ahead and talk about the magazines. So what I got whenever I got this rifle was this Gen 2 P mag from Magpul 30 rounder. Pretty nice, works well, uh, hasn't given me any problems. I prefer the Gen 2s over the Gen 3s just because they seem to release from my gun better, but I mean, they both work fine. It's just, I like how easy these ones come out of my gun better. Then I also have this 10 rounder right here, also P mag from Magpul. Uh, same idea, just less rounds. I like to keep this one loaded up just in case for self-defense, but in some states, you can't have more than 10 rounds. So it's just a different experience. Um, definitely a lot lighter than the 30 rounder. It's getting back to the gun. We have our fire selector right here. So where it's at right now, that's on safe. And then you flick it there and that's on semi-auto. And you can't flick it back because this is a civilian rifle. You can't have it fully automatic, but yeah. So you got semi and then safe down there. And that's the same. For both sides so if you're a left-handed shooter right-handed shooter you should be able to run this gun perfectly fine 
So back here we have our forward assist right here, this little button on the side. So if for some reason your bolt doesn't go the whole way forward and your gun's not firing, you can go ahead and just give this a nice firm tap and it should hopefully get your gun in performing condition. So then up here we have our charging handle. Same with the bolt group, this just works really well, very smooth, not super clanky. So down here we have our B5 systems grip down here. This is pretty nice. I will say the texturing on the sides, if you can see that, is a little aggressive. It's not too bad, but it's definitely nice to wear gloves whenever you're shooting this just because of uh, the aggressiveness of the texturing. And then trigger is just a mil spec trigger, nothing special about it. Um, go ahead and see how the trigger pull is. Chamber is empty. Not bad, um, could be better, but not the end of the world. So back here we have our B5 crane style stock with our different um, adjustments, whether you wanna have it full length. And not hit yourself in the face. <laughs> so whether you wanna have it full length or if you want to collapse it the whole way down, have it like CQB, you know, easier to maneuver around a house or something like that, um, you can do that. So also on the back, there is a nice rubberized pad back there, which really helps with the comfortability of the recoil. So yeah, that's, that's about all I have to go over for this gun. Not too much to it. A little more complicated than the other guns I've reviewed, but still pretty simple and to the point. But this is a 2.5 to 10 times uh, ACOG style scope, which works really well. It's also got night sights on it, which you can either choose red or green. And it's definitely a really cool feature. And it also has this built-in laser on the side, which does work. And it's pretty strong for what it is. Definitely pick up something like this if you're going to get an AR. So now that we've gone over everything, go ahead and show you the firing. All right, guys. So we've got the RF-15 out here on the range uh, looking beautiful as ever and the first test we're going to be doing is actually a simple rate of fire test we're just going to see how well it does under a really quick rate of fire or at least as fast as i can shoot it because semi-automatic we've got about eight rounds in this magazine right here and we're just going to go ahead and blow through them so we're going to make sure get my ears on there we go don't want to go deaf and we're going to load it up And ready to fire. So as we could see, the RF-15 didn't have any problems with that magazine. It ran perfectly. It didn't uh, jam up. It didn't have any malfunctions. So that is definitely a plus. And for being a budget rifle, that is very pleasing to a lot of us gun owners that we can get a cheaper product, but not cheaper per se. It's still pretty quality and it can hold up against more expensive rifles. All right, guys, so same as last video, we're going to be doing a accuracy test at about 50 yards with this RF-15. Um, we have one round loaded in the magazine. You can see that. And we've got a disgusting Diet Pepsi down there. I don't know who would want to drink Diet sodas. <laughs> so we're gonna give it the punishment it deserves. So we're gonna go ahead and load her up and blow that thing away. So if that wasn't cool enough for you, we got one more round in there. Gonna go ahead and teach this can who's boss. Firing. So as you guys can see, this rifle performs magnificently. This is just such a good rifle for not only starters, but even experienced shooters. Because like I said before, it's cheap, but it's not made cheap. One complaint I would say about it is 
Um, whenever I'm rapid firing this, some of the gas does get in my face. That can be due to wind. You know, if the wind's blowing in my face, it's gonna blow the gas obviously right towards me. But it's just something to point out if you're shooting this really quickly. Yeah, this is some magnificent gun. I would definitely recommend this to any new firearm owners who are looking for the AR platform at a budget, but also reliable. So that's about it for this video. I've pretty much gone over everything I've needed to for this rifle. It is just so reliable. It's a beauty of a gun. It's just for under $700, this is just a steal. So I'm definitely very proud of Radical Firearms for making a budget rifle that is reliable and people can actually use if they need to. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. I definitely had a lot of fun making it. This was just an absolute fantastic time shooting this rifle. It is so much fun and yeah, that's about it. So if you guys did like it, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends, family, whatever. Subscribe if you want to keep seeing content like this and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post. That's about everything and I hope you guys have a nice day.